Breaking, Jump Crypto President Kenneth Kari is stepping down amid CFTC probe. Julia Smith last updated, June 24, 2024 at 2.59 GMT plus 3 2-minute read. Jump Crypto President Kenneth Kari announced in a June 24 X post that he is stepping down from his position at the Chicago-based company just days after news broke that the Commodity Futures Trading Commission CFTC launched a probe into the trading firm. Jump Crypto President Kenneth Kari is stepping down amid CFTC probe. Today marks the end of an incredible personal journey for me. It's my last day at Jump, a moment I'm receiving with both a heavy heart and great excitement about the road ahead, Kari wrote. I'm leaving with a set of awesome relationships and unique, invaluable and shaping experiences. Kari claims he will stay engaged with the portfolio companies he's been involved with while taking some time to process the unbelievably eventful few years he has had, leading the trading giant. A heartfelt thanks to everyone who has been supportive to me on this journey, Kari continued. I'm genuinely overwhelmed by the kindness and encouragement I've received along the way. CFTC probe launched on Jump Crypto after setbacks. According to last week's report from Fortune, the CFTC probe on Jump Crypto primarily focuses on its trading and investments across the cryptocurrency sector. Founded in 2015, Jump has experienced several setbacks in recent years, particularly as the U.S. government notches up its regulation by enforcement approach to the digital sector. The firm gained scrutiny after it was revealed in 2023 that it had made $1.28 billion before the crash of Terraform Labs' Terra Luna ecosystem, of which Jump Crypto had a market-making arrangement. Kari served on the crypto company's Luna Foundation Guard and was deposed as part of the United States Securities and Exchange Commission's second case against Terraform Labs for misleading investors last fall, where he pleaded the fifth. Terra Luna founder Du Quan and the second settled the claims last month for an undisclosed amount. Quan is currently being held in prison in Montenegro, as the United States and South Korea battle for his extradition. The second and CFTC have been at the heart of digital asset regulation in the United States, most notably for their role in charging FTX with fraud following Sam Bankman-Fried's $8 billion crypto fraud scheme. According to Michael Lewis' book Going Infinite, The Rise and Fall of a New Tycoon, Jump Crypto lost over $300 million when the SBF-led crypto exchange collapsed in November 2022. At time of article publication, the CFTC has yet to bring formal charges against Caria and Jump Crypto. Follow us on Google News.